the first thing is that people may not really appreciate what adults with IDD is. So the first thing is people, adults with IDD, I'll give you some representative patient populations, Down syndrome, uh, autism, cerebral palsy. This would be an example of the types of people that we see, but these are not children, these are adults. People probably over 18 until they, they die. And people, uh, adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities, have very difficult, challenging, unique health complications, including very difficult neurologic complications, which is kind of why we have a section uh, alone to be able to support and care for them. Some of the un unmet needs is the problem is that the neurologists, the adult neurologists, are not being provided the education and training currently in, in medical schools schools, neurology residency programs, and fellowship tr uh, training, the training that's being provided for intellectual and developmental disability is pediatric centric. It's so for little babies, little children, adolescents, there is training that is provided by neurology, by, by the pediatric neurologist, but unfortunately the adult neurologist only gets a very, very small sprinkling of any IDD education training in only a few months or so uh, when they do um, their neurology residency training. So the problem is there is not nearly enough information that is learned or, or taught. So the biggest difficulty happens is that when the people who have a lifelong developmental disability with a neurologic complication, and one of the most common complications is seizures, epilepsy. And epilepsy is a very, very prevalent uh, common complication in adults with IDD. And the epilepsy that a lot of people have is complicated because a number of people will have syndromes. They might have uh, different different genetic syndromes that, that add to the complexities of their difficulty. They also might have uh, a concordant of uh, behavioral challenges. Uh, they also might have other health and physical problems such as spasticity or movement disorders. And, and as they get into adult age, they also um, might not be uh, living with their mother or father anymore. They might be living in a group home or uh, some kind of facility. And then by the time the, the adult neurologist sees them, they're not really knowledgeable about about all the types of complication that they've had their whole life and to know how to treat them, assess them and care for them. And that leads to a lot of challenges in the quality of care that they're provided. A fair amount of dissatisfaction by the families, by the patient themselves and by the doctors who feel often feel very inadequate to care for them and leading to really the current state of problems in the care of this population.